Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson affix hopping. It's called this way because we're looking at the affixes of the verb. In this case a suffix means the letters that you put at the end of the word. We have here S, E, D, E, N, I, N, G. When you put these at the end of the verb, they are called suffix. That's why it's called affix hopping. Okay, let's look at an example. All right, we have this sentence, Jean might have been doing her homework then. Now we want to make affix hoping for this sentence. Well, what we're going to start with is word by word. We start with Jean. Jean here is a noun. Do we have anything else in the noun phrase other than Jean? No, because the verb starts from might. So we'll take Jean and write it in the noun phrase space. Over here we have the noun phrase or the subject. We write now we have might. I want to take might and make for it affix hopping. Might is a modal. It belongs to the modal place. Okay? But is mind the simple form for the modal? No, it's a past tense. I need to use the simple form of might which is may. So when I go to write I will write here at the top I write may now I want may to become a past tense to become might okay so what I'm going to do is write ed under the might here's our affix ed which means past tense okay and the affix here you never put it down you will never put the affix down the affix must hop to the right so the affix here ed hops to may and may will go down as might Okay, now we finished may and might. We have here have. Have here belongs to the perfect tense, it's not the main verb. If I look here for the main verb, Jean might not have been doing her homework then. What's the main verb? The ver main verb is do. Because if you take the subject, Jean, do her homework, this is the main verb. If you remove everything else, the main verb must make a complete sentence. Okay? So, have here is not a main verb. It's just an aspect for the perfect tense. So, we will write have in the place of the aspect. Okay? Sorry about that. And have will go down as itself. There's no changing, no changes on it. So I'll take an arrow down from have. And it goes down also as have. Okay. What's next? We have here Ben. Ben, ben here is the verb to be we add for the main verb to get to make it continuous so we have here two b's b for continuous b for passive jean here is doing her the homework for herself so it's not passive not anyone else doing the homework but jean so it's a continuous form so we have b in the continuous form but we added to it en from the perfect form so we will write b here and we will write en in the perfect place 
and the hop the affix in this case en we said the affix never goes down it always hops to the right to the b and the b goes down and it becomes ben now for the main verb which is do the simple form of doing is do where did it get the ing from the continuous place so we write the do in the main verb space and we will write the ing in the continuous space so i will write ing in the continuous space and i will write do in the ve main verb space and here we have another affix the tops the ing is another affix which hops to do and do the do here with the ing it becomes uh, sorry it became doing okay now what's left in the sentence Ho hair homework then is there any verb here no there is no verb and it doesn't belong to the uh, noun phrase it belongs to the rest of the verb phrase so we'll just write everything here her homework then in the rest of the verb phrase now we have to check our work and make sure everything in the sentence is written jean might have been doing her homework then so we wrote every single word in the sentence in the table and that's it that's how you do the affix hobby good luck